Tonight, the FDA has officially started reviewing data on Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. Pfizer and its partner BioNTech submitted the research this morning, marking a step forward in efforts to vaccinate younger children. We bring in Dr. Frank George uh, live now with a closer look at what happens next. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Devin, so it's important to note Pfizer still needs to formally submit a request for emergency use authorization for the vaccine for ages 5 to 11, but that is expected to happen soon. You know, with COVID cases rapidly rising in school-aged children, there is growing urgency for a vaccine for this age group. The FDA is now expected to take several weeks to analyze data collected in Pfizer's Phase 3 trial, which included more than 2,000 children. Last year, when Pfizer submitted the data for adults, the green light from the FDA came just three weeks later. No one is committing to that timeline this time, but no one is ruling it out either. They have been extremely efficient and made this a high priority. So I would hope that by the end of October, we'll be there. I can't guarantee it but I'm hopeful that that will be the case. There will be significant hurdles to clear. Once FDA scientists finish their data review, the FDA is expected to ask its advisory panel to meet, review the science, and vote on recommendations. Then the FDA makes its decision. A panel of CDC advisors would then meet to consider whether or not to recommend it for use. Final authorization would then be needed from the CDC director. The vaccine for ages 5 to 11 is different, just one-third of an adult dose. So, if an emergency use authorization is granted, there will be a slight delay as doses are shipped out across the country. If they approve it, we will be ready with our manufacturing to provide this new formulation of the vaccine because the vaccine that the kids will receive, which is 5 to 11, it is a different formulation. Now, Pfizer and BioNTech say they plan to submit an application to the European Medicines Agency as well to seek authorization for use in children there. They also plan to submit their data to a scientific peer-reviewed publication. Uh, Doc, now obviously we know some parents are very anxious to get their kids vaccinated. Others have the opposite thoughts on this. Any idea on where things stand in general on that front? Well, you know, Evan, in fact, a new poll out today finds among parents of kids aged 5 to 11, 44% say they were likely to vaccinate their children, and 42% say they were unlikely to do so. Mm. Now, those numbers may well change as this review process plays out, but that's a snapshot of where we are right now today. Neck that's and neck. Right. All right, Doc.